Hello, this is the first video of a fourth Graphs Network series on route inspection and the travelling salesperson problem for OCR Discrete Further Mathematics and it introduces the basic route inspection problem. You may remember that a graph is said to be Eulerian or traversable if you can travel all the arcs and edges once and once only and get back to where you started. Practically, you can test this by seeing if you can draw a graph or network without taking your pen off the paper. You can also tell if a graph is Eulerian without drawing it by inspecting the degree or order of the vertices or nodes. Here we have that A is of order 2 B of order 3, C of order 4, D of order 4, E of order 3, and F of order 2. If all the nodes had even order, then the graph could be said to be Eulerian or traversable. If only two are odd, as is the case here, where we've got B being odd and E being odd, then it is said to be semi-Eulerian. And you can traverse it without retracing paths, but you'd have to start and finish at the odd nodes rather than at the same point. If you have more than two odd nodes, then the graph is neither Eulerian nor semi-Eulerian. Some of you may be familiar with the famous problem considered by Euler associated with the citizens in Konigsberg trying to take a Sunday stroll without going over the, any one of the seven bridges in Konigsberg more than once. Let's look at the root inspection problem. So imagine that the edges in a network, in other words a, a weighted graph, are streets and the weights are lengths. The idea is that you want to walk along every street at least once but cover the least total distance. We usually want to start and end at the same vertex so we can think of this as a route inspection as this is what you would have to do if you were to inspect the whole network. You can imagine having to do this if you were checking out utilities or transport networks. And you certainly don't want to spend more time travelling or travel further than you need to. A postman would also have to do this to deliver the mail. And the solution to this problem was studied by a Chinese mathematician, Quan Mai Kou, in 1962. Hence we often call it the Chinese postman problem. So let's look at the various solutions depending on the types of graphs or network we've got. If a graph or network is Eulerian, i.e. all nodes have an even order, then the solution to the root inspection problem is straightforward. We just need to use each edge once and the minimum weight would therefore be the sum of all the weights. So for this graph here, and you can see that this network has had an extra arc added to BE so that the nodes B and E have now order 4, and so hence all of those nodes are even and it is an Eulerian network. So we'd add all those up, so the 3, the 5, the 1, 1, 6, 3, 1, 3, 3 and 5. So the sum of the weights, in this case, happens to be 31. And that gives us the least weight root that traverses each arc at least once, being 1. Because we know that whichever node we start from, we can end up back at that node and only travel each of those arcs once, because the graph is Eulerian. One possible route would be from... A to B to D to F 
to E, back to D again, to C, to B, to E, to C, to A. So you can see we can revisit the nodes, but we only go down each arc once. Note that this is not the only possible route. There will be several. If a graph is not Eulerian, then we have to use some of the edges more than once. We only want to reuse edges that allow us to join odd nodes, but we need a way to do this systematically. Overall, the minimal distance will be the sum of the weights plus some extra weights for the arcs that need to be travelled more than once. So, remember that a graph will only have odd nodes in pairs. If we look at the semi-Eulerian graph solution, in this case, B and E are the odd nodes. They're order 3. And we want to find the least weight way to do this, to join them. So, the total weight of the arc sum, existing arcs, would be 25. I'll leave you to use your calculators to check that while I'm talking. So we need to look at some ways of adding or reusing arcs in the root. Well, we could, to get from B to E, we could go via C. And that would mean adding this 1 and this 3. So that would mean adding 4. Or we could go via B, C, D, E. So in which case we'd be looking at the 1, the 1 and then another 1. So we'd only be adding 3. Remembering that the network, the weights on the arcs are the important thing, not the sort of look of it. It's not representative of the distance. So the second option is the minimum. In which case, if we choose that 3, then the least weight root for the root inspection would be 25 plus 3, giving us 28. So where there are just two odd nodes, we just need to consider how best to join them. In the next video, we will consider the root inspection problem for networks that are neither Eulerian.